Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 802 for technical and vocational schools. It's unit 10, lesson two, future real conditional. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, project success one, student's book. You need to have it in your hand. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Four, a dictionary. All right, let's go to the lesson objectives. Number one, you should be able, by the end of the lesson, to use the future, real, conditional, and writing sentences. All right, so what is the future, real, conditional? That's a good question. This is an example for you. I, a degree, comma, I, a gap, have more chances, full stop. This is an example, but it needs something. Let's use the future real conditional. All right. If I have a degree, comma, I will have more chances. Let's take a look at another example. This is Nasser, gap, learn new skills, gap, he, gap, time, Full stop. Now let's use the future real conditional. Nasser might learn new skills if he has time. Let's take a look at the third example. There is a gap. We, gap, late, comma, they, gap, be happy about it. Full stop. If we come late, they might not be happy about it. So what is the real conditional? The real conditional, the future real conditional is used to talk about what you think will happen in the future on actions you take now. So in order for us to understand it fully, let's take a look. You have the timeline. It starts from the present, past, and future, right? So, the future real conditional is used to talk about what you think will happen in the future, okay? You see the X in there? That is the future. Based on actions, like what? Like study, like drive, like eat. You take now. So we have two things to, talk, to think about. Now, okay, and the future. Let's take a look how it is formed. We have two clauses. First one is F clause, and the second one is main clause. All right, so we start with F plus subject plus present simple, then the comma, Don't, do not forget the comma. Then subject plus model plus verb, full stop. Let's take a look. If you exercise, comma, you will be fit, full stop. This is the first example. Second one, if she calls, comma, he might answer. If they come late, comma, they might not find seats. So, the subject is here, you, he, they. Model is well, might, might not. You can even use the negative in this. All right. Let's flip them. So we start with the more main close and we end with the if close. Both are switched. Let's take a look. You will be fit. You started with the subject, models here, verb, be fit. And verb is in the base form. You do not change it. So the base form of be is be. It comes in three forms. M is an R, but after a model, you cannot use M is or R, you use B. So F, take a look, it's in lowercase, the I. Do not forget this, it's in the middle of a sentence. If you exercise, full stop. He might answer if she calls, full stop. Take a look, the I is lowercase, and calls is the present simple. Calls, she calls, you add the S, all right. They might not find seats. 
if they come late. Come late is also a present simple. All right. Now, let's do task one. Question. Fill in the gaps in the following. You have a mark of three. Number one, you have a gap. You read every day, comma, you will be smart. So what do you write in here? Quickly do that. Hmm. Time's up. Let's take a look. Ah, if. You use if in the conditional. All right, number two. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Number two. If it gap cloudy, it's my train. And you have to use B between the brackets. Okay. All right, let's take a look. If it is cloudy, it's my train. So if it is, this is present simple, it's my train, this is the future. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Three. If you sleep late, you might not gap early, full stop. You have to use wake up. All right, all right. Let's take a look. You might not wake up. You do not change it. It goes back to the, the base form of the verb wake. All right. So give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. You have to ask two. This is practice on future real conditional. In your notebooks, answer the following. A. Combine the two sentences. We have one and we have two. Into one. Into just one. Using the future real conditional. Like the example below. And we have an example. Henry takes the promotion, and this is a full stop. More nurses report to him. Our task is to combine them. Let's take a look. You have a mark of six to worry about. If Henry takes the promotion, and this is a comma, more nurses will report to him. Okay, so what changed? We have added F to make it conditional. And take a look at the H. It did not change. Why? Because Henry is a name. And proper names, you do not change the initials. We have added a comma. And what comes after the comma is the first letter in more. But this time, it is in lowercase. Because it comes after a comma, it is in the middle of a sentence. So this is about it. Now, ah, I add a well. You see? If you add well to report, it happens in the future. So you have two parts now, the present and the future. Okay, let's take a look at the examples that you need to worry about and do not forget the mark. Two. He has more administrative duties, full stop. He does not see patients as often. Three, Henry takes the job, full stop. Henry is not very happy. Four, he wants to keep working, full stop. He needs to find a part-time job. Now you have five minutes to do this and you have a, a mark of six.
All right, the five minutes are up. Now let's take a look at the answers. All right, we have a model answer for A. Number one, if he has more administrative duties, comma, he won't see patients as often. Two, if Henry takes the job, comma, he might not be happy. Three, if he wants to keep working, comma, he will need to find a part-time job, full stop. Now we have assessment task number three. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question, write four sentences in a future real conditional using the following. You have a mark of eight and you have five minutes. The first one, he drive fast might get an accident. You have to use all of these words to make up the uh, future real conditional. Two, the movie be boring not watch. Three, you eat junk food get sick. Four, he go to the mall his father pick him up. Your task is to create or build a future real conditional. And you have five minutes.
We'll come back. Now let's take a look at the model answer. Before you do that, you have the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every single word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now let's take a look at the model answer. Number one, if he drives fast, comma, he might get an accident. Number two, if the movie is boring, I might not watch it. Three, you will get sick if you eat junk food. Number four, if he goes to the mall, comma, his father will pick him up. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back for finishing the lesson and give yourself three marks. Then calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. You are able to use the future real conditional in writing sentences. And you have a grade of 20. Now, calculate that mark. If you have 100%, that means 20 marks, correct, proceed to the next lesson. If you have about 75%, that means 15 marks and above. Go over the lesson where, to the part you failed in and redo that. If you have a mark or a percentage of 75% or lower than that, that means 15 marks, then redo the lesson all over again. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck. Thank you for your attention.